My name is Anne. I am 28 years old and a mother of a 3-year-old girl. I lost my mother due to an illness when I was 5, so I have always lived with just my father. I was so small but still have vague memories of her loving me. However, when it comes to interacting with my own daughter, to be honest, there are times when I'm not sure what to do. At those times, I usually talk to my husband's mother, Katie. Since Katie has wanted a daughter from the beginning, she treats me nicely as if I were her own daughter, even though there are times when she is strict. Since Katie is honest all the time and never talks bad about other people, she is popular among her neighbors and trusted. Living close to Katie, I have always been very proud of that. Nice husband, cute daughter, and a mother-in-law that I love. I have lived every day feeling how blessed I was. Then one day... Hi Anne, do you have time now? Hi Hillary, is there something wrong? Well, it's about Katie. Can't you do something about her? Did something happen? You are so carefree. What do you mean? Did something happen? I don't really wanna say things like this, but... She is a thief. Can you tell her to stop? A thief? What do you mean? Isn't this some kind of misunderstanding? There is no way it's a misunderstanding. It's the truth. Truth. So what did you have stolen? I've lost count. I have been enduring it all for a long time. Oh, that many? I'm sorry. So what were they? She would start talking about things I was trying to talk about and she would buy clothes I was planning on buying. I feel so stressed that I cannot stand it anymore. You understand my feelings, right? I feel so irritated that I cannot sleep. So please, you tell her to stop it too. Well, I don't think those things necessarily make her a thief. What? What are you talking about? She sure is a thief. I'm sorry, but is that all you wanted to talk about? There is nothing I can do about it, so if you cannot stand it, please tell Katie directly. I've already done that, but she wouldn't listen to me at all. No matter how many times I tell her to stop being a thief, she ignores me. Isn't that terrible? So I need you to talk to her. I see how it is, but I'm sorry. I cannot do anything about this after all. Huh? How come? Even if what you are saying was true, I feel those things happened by accident, and I don't think she is a thief. And most of all, I trust Katie. Oh, that's it. I will not ask you anymore. You guys are really like mother and daughter. How you both don't even try to listen to others is so similar. Oh, you said I was like a real daughter of my precious Katie. I take that as the best compliment. Compliment? Are you kidding? I never said anything positive. Oh, is that right? But like I said, there is nothing I can do, so I have to go. I am not done talking. I was debating if I should tell you this, but this is for you. I feel sorry because you trust Katie too much. So I am going to tell this to you. What is it this time? I heard you don't have a mother. Right, but how do you know that? She said you were not disciplined because you were raised by your father and she has so much to teach you and she said that was a big trouble. It seems like she pretends to be a nice person to you and others around her but she is actually a mean, wicked person. Don't you think that's terrible? If you trust her too much, you are the one who is going to get hurt in the end. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Do you not get it? She is talking about you behind your back. The fact that you were raised in a single father household is something that nobody would know, unless you are or she told everyone. She is a woman who casually talks about such private things. I am going to tell you one more time, you shouldn't trust her too much. You will be okay though, I will stay on your side from now on. If there is anything, come talk to me. I understand. Is there anything else? Huh? No, nothing in particular. Then I am going to go now. What? Wait, are you done? Do you really understand what I said? Do you understand how terrible of a person Katie is? I'm sorry, but I don't think Katie is that kind of a person. What? Are you okay? Is your brain functioning? Perhaps. Were you so shocked that you couldn't comprehend everything? 
No, I understand what you said. I am a pearl. I cannot believe how gullible you are. I feel so foolish for trying to make you my friend. What do you mean by friend? Anyway, it's a waste of time. I am going to go, so see you. It was a sudden message from Katie's neighbor. I am not sure if her motivation was her jealousy for me and Katie being so close. But I could tell she didn't like Katie. However, I had built a relationship of trust since before I got married, so I decided to ignore what Hillary said. The only thing was I wondered how she found out about my family being a single father household. It is not that I am ashamed of it, but it bothered me. Anne, you are troubled by something recently, aren't you? What? What's the matter all of a sudden? I can't tell. Did Hillary tell you something by any chance? Did it happen to you too? I knew it. Recently, you seem to always be thinking about something. She was telling me about you, to tell you the truth. It must be about me being a thief and her telling you to do something about it, right? Did you know about all this? Yeah, she calls me names like a conversation thief or fashion thief. Everything that doesn't make sense. She is a little weird. Everything I get complimented on, she says she was thinking about doing the same thing. I'm not sure what to do if she tells me such things. That's really true. I had a lot of question marks in my head while listening to her. I know, but is that all? Wasn't there something else? Is it something you cannot tell me? That's not what it is, but... There is nothing I can do unless you tell me about it. I truly love you from the bottom of my heart, so I didn't like the fact that she was talking bad about you, and I didn't want to ask you about it either. It's okay, I know you, so please talk to me. Well, she said you were talking behind my back. Of course, I don't believe her one bit. The only thing was that she said you were telling other people that I was raised in a single father household. What in the world? I cannot believe it. There is no way I would tell other people such a thing. I know and I truly trust you, and that's what I told Hilary, but I was just wondering how she knew that I was raised in a single father household. She hasn't liked me for a long time, so she is probably hoping that we would fight and not like each other. It's a waste of time to be concerned about what she said. I'm not sure where she gets all her information, but it's best to ignore such things. Okay, I got it. By talking with Katie, my feelings calmed down a little, but according to other fellow moms, Hillary is saying Katie is being mean to Anne behind the scenes. She seems to be saying things regardless of whether it's true or not. Coming to my wit's end, I finally decided to get back at Hillary. Hillary, do you have time now? Hey Anne, what's up? Would you stop doing things that would damage my relationship with Katie? We are seriously troubled because you are talking so much about things that are not true to the fellow moms and neighbors. What are you saying? All I am saying is true. You are jealous of Katie, aren't you? But please, just leave us alone. Jealous? I'm not sure what you mean. All the people around you know everything. They know that most of what you say is a lie. There were quite a few people who apologized to me. Who taking you seriously even just for a moment. Also about the fact that I was raised in a single father household. You heard it from one of my close fellow moms, right? She told me about it. She told me you said various things about me. And she told you about it unintentionally. She said she was truly sorry and apologized to me. It doesn't matter who told me, it's the same thing. Plus, that doesn't mean Katie is not the one who told me about it. Oh, I know, Katie is trying to isolate me. That's why Katie is doing something in the bag. That's enough. You tell lies about your children too, right? 
You said your daughter was married to a man at a prestigious company and was a celebrity living in a rich neighborhood. But that's a lie, right? In reality, she is not even married and doesn't even come out of her room. There are many people who have witnessed the curtain on the second floor of your house waving unnaturally during the day. They have also seen your daughter peeking out, and they have seen her smoking in front of your house at midnight. Man, I told her to stop smoking after all. You also said your son was diligent, works hard, and was very nice to parents. But in reality, he doesn't really work and is lazy all the time. His salary is really low, and his wife is having a very hard time. I heard people around her are suggesting that she get a divorce. How do you know all this? My friend happened to be friends with the wife. Also, are you aware of your son's company? Of course, I knew all about it. Do you have any idea who the president of the company is? President? No, I don't know who he is. That's what I thought. If you knew, this would have never happened. Man, what is it? Don't hold it back. What are you trying to say? The president of your son's company is Katie. Huh? What are you talking about? There is no way. How can you say that? Because she is always at home. There is no hint of her being a president of the company. That might be true, but she said it's not right to act arrogant just because she was the president. She only goes to the company when it is absolutely necessary and she works remotely from home. That woman only steals my stuff and acts like a nice person to others. She is such a mean person. Are you saying that again? Then that's it. Katie never says bad things about other people, lags about things, or tells lies. She is running a company, but she never boasts about it. But she can be honest and clearly tell when something is not right. That's the reason why she is trusted by everybody. On the other hand, all you care about is what others think about you, and all you say are lies, right? Th that's not true! Don't be so mean to me! I guess it was too much for me to say all that. I'm sorry. Wait a minute, did you say Katie was the president of my son's company? Is that really true? Yes, I wouldn't tell you a lie. Oh no, I have done something horrible. Why didn't you tell me, Aria? Huh? Why am I getting yelled at? I didn't know the president was so close. I can't ask her to promote him and raise his salary. What are you talking about? Did you forget what you've done? I will apologize for it. So please, can you ask her for me also? I decline. Katie is watching those people who diligently work. If your son is not getting a high evaluation, doesn't it mean that's what he deserves? If I were her, I would link his evaluation with what you've done. But Katie doesn't do that. She clearly knows that you and your son are two different people. It's rare to find a person like her. I am not as mature as Katie is, and I don't want to be involved anymore. So this is it. Don't get involved with me anymore. Bye. After sending the last line, I blocked Hillary right away. Afterwards, I heard Hillary apologized to Katie. But as was expected, that was not all. She begged for her son's promotion and sorry lays. Of course, Katie declined, but Hillary was so persistent and she kept begging her. She finally got tired and blocked Hillary. Because of this, Katie found out that I had revealed her prediction, and I thought Katie would be mad at me for not being able to ignore Hillary like I was told. However, she knew that I usually wouldn't do such a thing. She said she was impressed with me for standing up for her. Hillary's son's wife ran out of patience and ended up divorcing him. I guess he finally realized his true position then. I heard he started deporting himself to work as if he had become a totally different person. Her daughter seems to have had a slight idea about Hillary, but I guess she got filled up with what Hillary had been doing because of what happened this time. Before nobody in the neighborhood realized, she left the house with her brother's help. Hillary was left alone and is away from her neighbors and living a lonely life. 
The only thing is that being worried about Hilary, Katie talks to her every time she sees her. It is amazing how nice she is, and I came to respect her even more. Also, Katie and I have deepened our relationship more than before, and we became even closer. I hope we continue to trust each other and maintain a great relationship.